Hey, welcome back everybody to your Minecraft series. In this episode, we're gonna talk about installing mods, which is a fairly simple process. So prerequisites have Minecraft installed, which we did in the previous episode. So if you got that done, great. We're using the Java edition. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going off a website called minecraftmods.com, I believe. Creative name. So here we are just chilling. Story of my life, I just died. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the web browser and we're gonna go to minecraftmods.com and here we are. Now there's a lot of other Minecraft mod websites and we're gonna explore some other options out there that might be more scalable or for some, you know, more management of multiple mods. But this is a good place to start and you can scroll through here, find anything that you think is cool. Take a look at the version. So 1.17 is what we're looking for for this video. And that's based off of the Minecraft launcher, which I showed you, you can see Minecraft 1.17 right here. So what we'll do is we'll find a cool mod to install. Now for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna show you something that is easy to see in use right away. A lot of these mods are fairly elaborate, so you might have to install them you know, find materials to make something, whatever it might be. So for the sake of training, we're gonna get something that's immediately noticeable, which the one I'm gonna be using is called Physics Mod, and you might be able to search that as well. And this mod's kinda silly, but it will show that the mod is working right away. So you can scroll through here, read a little bit about it, and at the bottom there should be a download. So scroll down. And watch out, this isn't what we're looking for. This is an ad you can see by these little buttons right here. So we don't want that. We want to download. And you're gonna get this website, curseforge.com, which is where it's gonna download from. Don't click any of these buttons. The download will start automatically. Now this is a .jar file, which is basically a Java file. And this is going to be blocked because it's an executable, but you can still use it. So what we need to do is we need to Click the little dots and keep, or figure out for whatever web browser you're using how to get the file downloaded, and then we can show that file and see it in our downloads folder. Now it's a little bit more complicated than just opening that file and boom, you're good to go, unfortunately, because we actually need a way to run this mod, so we're gonna need another piece of software, and that is called Forge. So if we go back to the physics mod, you can see this install guide, and that's gonna tell you how to download everything you need. So we're going to install Minecraft Forge, which you can get from the Forge website. So the Forge website is minecraftforge.net, and we're looking at 1.17. Again, just always check the versions to make sure everything is exactly the same. So we're gonna go and grab the installer here, and you're gonna get ads again, just don't click anything, just wait for this to show up here, and hit skip and it's gonna start downloading. Again, it blocks it, so right, we'll click the little dots and hit keep. All right, so we got that, and then you can reference the tutorial if you need, but basically we're just going to install it, and that's going to create a new launcher for Minecraft. So let's go back to our downloads folder, and we will find this forge installer.jar, and we need to install this. Now you can try to double click this, and if it brings up an installer, then you're good to go but you might actually need some additional download of Java. We actually need the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment. This is going to allow us to run Java programs. Now, Minecraft is built on Java, right? So why didn't we need that in the previous episode? Well, because the Minecraft installer comes with the Java packaged with that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to search Java, and we're gonna go to java.com, Java download, Scroll down, agree, and start free download. All right, so we got that, open file, and this is Java 8. All right, now we're just gonna go through this installation process. We'll go with install, and then just wait for this to finish. All right, that just finished. There we go, we'll hit close. And now, when you go to your folders, we should be able to double click this, We'll go ahead and install client. All right, that is done, we'll hit okay. Now that we have all that installed, what we can do is we can close out of this, close out of Minecraft, and we can relaunch Minecraft. So open the Minecraft launcher, and we're going to now select Forge as our launcher. And the difference here is that Forge is going to give you a new mods option. There's a specific folder that you're going to wanna put all of your mods in, 
I don't have the location memorized, so I'm gonna show you how you can actually figure out what that location is with just one extra step. So we're going to go ahead and just launch Forge and give it a few moments to start up. Yes, that's fine. Play. All right, it's finally launching and we'll give it some time. Again, I'm on a VM, so it's slow as heck. All right, there we go. It's done and now we have this mods button where we can see our mods. So these are all the mods in that special folder I was talking about, which you can find by this button here, open mods folder. That's the easiest way to find it. And then what I'll do is I will go up one folder, grab the mods folder, right click it, and say either pin to start or pin to quick access. So we'll pin to quick access, and you can see it now shows up over here on the left. And what the heck, might as well pin it to start while I'm at it. So now we can click this button and see that we have mods right there. That's gonna make it super easy for us to drag any mods into that folder. So the downside here is I think it needs a refresh on the Minecraft application. So we're gonna close out of this and then we're gonna open this mods folder. I'm gonna right click and open a new file explorer just so I can have two windows here. And then what we'll do is we will go to downloads, find that physics mod we downloaded or any other mod we downloaded, and we can drag it to that folder. You can drag it to the mods window, or if you don't have two windows open, you can just drag it to the pinned section right here on the side. So there we go. We actually didn't even need two windows open, but either way works. So now we have this inside of the mods folder. What we're gonna do is we're going to launch Minecraft again, make sure we select forge, and then check to make sure it showed up in that mods section. So we'll launch Forge, hit play. All right, it is now done loading. We can go into the mods and see that we have physics mod there. Good, it's working. Now let's see if we can actually run the game without it crashing. I mean, it's probably gonna crash even without mods for me, but we're just gonna run it and see how it goes. We can actually use the same world. The mod will just apply to anything played. So we'll hit play. All right, here we are. And it's obviously super laggy, but we should be able to at least see the effect to some degree. You see some extra uh, blocks exploding <laughs> whenever we break a block. <laughs> and again, once, once I go through the entire installation process, I'll move this over to a more uh, effective environment, but just wanted to show you guys the installation from scratch. So pretty much what it's supposed to look like. If we go back to the page, we can see that when you break a block, it's going to split out into a bunch of little pieces. And we could at least see that to some degree that the mod is in fact working. And we got our first mod installed. So if this is your first time installing a mod, congratulations, you're making serious good progress. Now you understand how mods are used from the user perspective. Probably in the next video, I'm gonna talk about a pretty good mod manager and how to explore more mods. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.